Hello there, this is Infinity, and it is currently 11.46 a.m. in the Pacific on 11-12-2020. I'm coming to you recorded live from my bathtub, and the reason why I'm here is because I was preparing, thinking about the meditation that I was going to record uh, on video. Uh, basically live but private on YouTube and I started thinking about it and then all of a sudden it was like nope you're gonna do this right here and now so not only does it save time for me um, it really makes sense with what we're doing and and just so you know everything that I do literally a hundred percent of everything that I do on pretty much every level is guided. I know that that might sound really strange, but I've I've worked to get to this point and been here for a long time being a guided teacher, a healer. You have to kind of learn to turn over who you are and kind of slide aside for that higher self-guidance in all aspects of your life. So this is why and how I live the way that I do. Well, I'll get into my lifestyle at another point, but everything that I do is guided. So yesterday in the live 1111 uh, Stargate event that I had on YouTube, and if you were there, thank you so much for joining me. It was really awesome. Uh, I had been given the directive the night before at two in the morning to record a tarot reading for specifically for the Stargate and just to, to give us a picture of what we're looking at for the Stargate. Last month for October, it was pulling a, an Oracle card for every day and, and getting, getting the directive for different themes to go over and, and meditation specifically for each day. And that's what I did live on either Instagram or Facebook. Both let me down with, with, um, cutting off, deleting a couple of, of different days. Now, of course, I know everything happens for a reason, but it's also like, don't do these things here. It's just not trustworthy. So anyway, yesterday for the 1111 gate, I was guided to do the event on YouTube, which is really where I used to do most of my, my stuff, uh, most of my lives and guided and, and all sorts of stuff I would normally do on YouTube. Um, but I had been kind of thinking that I needed to branch out and use Instagram more and use Facebook more possibly, but, um, and I think that's maybe still true, but just in different ways. So back to YouTube yesterday in the event, going over the tarot, uh, that the tarot reading that I did, which is a, a separate video on my YouTube channel. You can go and watch that. It was pretty interesting. Um, what came up and the messages that we got, but I was also told because it was nearly three o'clock in the morning that I was to pause, sleep, do a sleep cycle, wake up, and then at some point get back to it. So as it turned out, getting back to it was live in the Stargate event yesterday and going through that. And in doing so, I was given the directive that uh, just right there on the spot to uh, and if you if you watch the video, if you were there, you saw me getting this directive to record or go live something. I wasn't really quite sure at the time it was and I didn't really want to spend time trying to figure it out. But it was to do this, uh, to do a meditation, uh, a recorded one, ultimately, that you could go back and do every single day. And you're encouraged and advised to do this meditation we're about to get into every single day of the Stargate and beyond if you're feeling it or whenever twice a day um, is even better, even better. And this is why I'm here in the in the bath in the shower is because the water is so healing and clearing and it is a liquid crystal and and it helps us to trans transmit and transmute and receive and again clear and heal and do all those things 
being in the water is very um, conductive to energies. It's its own portal. You're naked. You're alone. You're, you know, you're wet. You're, you're, there isn't a lot of interference unless whatever you, you invite in. Um, it's advised to turn off your electric lights, put on candles, uh, and if you can, be in a bath. Be in a bath with just organic, nothing chemical. Um, Himalayan salts or different types of um, sea salts, uh, Epsom salts, whatever. Uh, good salts with herbs is great. Flower essences, botanicals, uh, essential oils. You should have some bath crystals, the ones that you use in your bath, and this can always change, but I have a set of crystals I use in my bath, and I just either they all come in with me or just a couple or whatever I'm guided to do, and if they're, if they're just in the bathtub with me or if I put them on my body as I lay here, um, really depends on, and I'm also guided to take crystals just from around the house that I have around and just go take that one into the bath with you. You're going to clear, you're going to connect with it. Um, we are getting a lot more information to, with and for and about crystals and, and using them and working with them. So that's definitely a thing. And, um, it's also, uh, just being in the being in water is um and meditating in water in general is really really advised uh i i really want to try to develop more of a practice that's becomes a kind of a well-known type of thing to to do in meditation but not necessarily having to be in the bath so if you don't have a bath you can sit in the shower on the shower floor hopefully it's not too gross and dirty or you know make your preparations to clean it or put put a towel down or whatever um you can also if that's not an option you can also just Get a foot basin um, and just have a water bath for your feet and just put your feet in the water as you're doing the meditation. So you could sit in a chair and do it that way. You can also just get bowls of water and put your hands in, in the, the bowls of water as you're doing the meditation. So there's different ways you can incorporate the water into this practice. So don't let the um, the logistics of possibly not having a bath uh, to discourage you from using water, using it in different ways, or just using your shower. So, and the hotter, the better. So um, I was guided to make my bath really, really hot right before we got started here. So I've been literally submerged in it to the point where it's gotten really too hot, especially with me talking. And now I'm going to be ch um, like channeling and doing this practice. I'm going to get pretty warm. Um, so One thing I want to make clear is that you don't have to have any water either. So if none of that is an option, you're just like, I just want to do this meditation without involving water. You absolutely can. It's not a necessity. It's just the the more you can incorporate water or be in water and, and incorporate these other elements of Gaia, which is crystals and botanicals and salts and oils and all of these things, the the richer the the connection and experience for you, but it doesn't mean that you have to. You could just sit there outside on the grass, no crystals, or in the middle of your living room, whatever, and do this meditation and your intention to connect is really what is important okay so with that said we're gonna get started here at 9 33 in so from this point forward whenever you come here you can just go directly to 9 33 
and we will begin the meditation. Again, you're guided to do this daily or twice a day if you can. This is to do through this 11 11 2020 through 11 22 2020 Stargate and beyond any time you are guided to do so. I want you to get nice and straight in your seat and please do this meditation sitting up either in a chair or on or being cross-legged. Have whatever you need underneath you to make you comfortable. So pelvis, hips, spine as straight and not tilted as possible. Shoulders down and back, chin up, head flat, spine nice and straight or feet firmly planted on the floor or in water if that's what you're doing most importantly is to be comfortable in your space you can turn on whatever background music you want to accompany this too or nothing at all that is fine as well So after a couple of inhales in your, through your mouth and out your nose, so hold it and then out your mouth or your nose, whatever feels right, do a couple of those. So in through your mouth. Hold it and then out through your mouth. These breaths, <clears throat> excuse me, these breaths are deliberate, steady, not rushed, easy on the body, nice and slow. Okay, one more time. In through the mouth on the count of three. One, two, and three. Hold. And then out. And then steady and then I release and I receive let's repeat that a couple times I release and I receive I connect with mother Gaia with my guides and guardians with my entire spirit tribe in this life and every other life I'm connecting in this time and space this divine now moment. I open up. I open up my body, my spirit, my soul, my energy, my awareness, my intention to connect, to connect with myself, my soul, creation, Gaia deeper every single day to hear her to feel her to be guided by Gaia to be inspired to create like Gaia to connect with source creator mother father God to bring in as much pure love light energy into my field and the world to transmute as much dense negative energy negatively charged energy negatively impacted on my bodies keeping my bodies out of alignment I choose the path to releasement in whichever way I am guided to do so a deep breath so be it and so it is just making intentional very responsible commitments to yourself your soul 
your life story, your journey, your mission here upon Gaia at this time as we move into this new dawn, this new age of awareness, human 2.0, really for the first time evolving in real time, in record time, every single day, every single month with these stargates. So be aware of that, the intention to evolve, the intention to receive your soul codes that will help you to integrate further, deeper awareness from your Akashic records. If you did not do the meditation from 1111, you're highly encouraged to do that. Do that meditation. We integrate energies from our Akashic records directly into our energy body so we can integrate throughout the Stargate. Doing that, piggybacking from that meditation, also the work that we did specifically opening up the crown chakra. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Same thing that we did yesterday where working with Merlin. We are working with Archangel Michael, both of which we worked with yesterday in the live meditation. Merlin first coming in, working with us to release negative energy. We worked to bring in that energy of the Akashic Records. We worked to open up all of our chakras from root all the way up. So really intentionally think about your root chakra opening up, just letting like you're opening up a valve of, um, of water. Just open up that valve and just let it go and just feel that energy kind of pouring out. If you're in water, you can kind of decide to let it merge with the water come out. So root chakra red, beautiful energy, just feel it pouring out, moving down your legs, coming up your arms, swirling around your body, doing whatever it needs to do. Same thing with your root, opening up that valve, just turning it open and letting it pour out. Again, with your solar plexus chakra, opening up that valve, <clears throat> letting it pour out. All of these colors blending and mixing together. Again, if you're in water, see and visualize the rainbow of colors starting to come into the water. If you're not in water, let's visualize and feel as though you are. You can be in any body of water. Light up the water and light it up with your energy from the root, from the sacral, from the solar, from the heart, opening up that valve and letting that beautiful green emerald water pour out down into the water through your heart chakra, your chest, your back, opening up your wings, your wing area, your energetic wings, through your shoulders and your arms and your fingers. See the energy flowing down in a very liquid state through your arms into the water and just start to swirl all of this together in the water. Moving up into your throat chakra, same thing. Open up that valve of water, that valve of energy, beautiful blue sky, ocean blue, opening that up and just let it flow. Imagine it just pouring like from your throat, like a waterfall straight, straight down, crashing into the waters below, blending in and then up into your third eye. Let's visualize this like big, beautiful, puffy indigo clouds in the sky. Okay, so 
opening up your third eye chakra and just seeing them, seeing all that energy instead of pouring into water, just up into vapor and mist, the lightest form of water creating these beautiful clouds and just pour in the energy right there at eye level. Activate your third eye more intentionally, deeper and strong. You can take the palms of your hands, put them directly into your eye sockets. They should fit perfectly and push in and you can even move around. And what this does is this stimulates all the tissue and the nerve endings that go directly from your eyes back into your third eye. This releases DMT and a host of other uh, chemicals in the brain. When you do this, it's really, really intentionally working with your third eye chakra, working with your pineal gland. This may uh, make you sneeze. You may get dripping in like post, like that post nasal drip or whatever, like down your throat um, or just make your sinuses really wet as you do this. So you can rub your eyes, just place your, and yes, if you have makeup on, it will mess it up. <laughs> I honestly, uh, it's, it's a thing, but it does work. So stick with it. It will feel un uncomfortable a little bit, but you're going to start to see the, the matrix form. You're going to start to see white and light and things starting to sh take shape. You can also help yourself out by um, actually letting your head bow down and using gravity to push down on your hands. Just continue to breathe. You're going to be seeing a lot of different things popping. Um, and just you can move, you can blink your eyes. That will make things happen as well. Push on your eyes. Just don't open them yet. Don't open them yet. At some point, you're going to see a, um, if you stick with this, you're going to see this little orb of, energy directly in front of you just kind of spinning and so when you see that just try to focus in on that this may make you feel uneasy or even nauseous you may get hot you might start to see um, images faces um, just things just start coming to you again you're activating dmt this is opening up your third eye very intentionally okay so that's enough for now and let that go get back into a um a straight up position and at this point you might start seeing that orb just when you stop and just try to hold your eyes in place and have it because it'll move around. So just focus in on that center and just let what will happen happen. And have the intention of sending all of this energy opening up your crown chakra remember visualizing that crown with that ace of swords straight through it like we saw in the live this is to open up that channel of energy and let it just so so it's not so intense and so painful and disruptive we're turning that ace into like fluid and water and mist and energy very nice and easy opening up our crown chakra and just seeing that halo of energy right above our heads so tap in with that it's like golden coppery uh, energy and it's spinning in a uh, clockwise direction around the top of your head and you want to have the intention of making it bigger and bigger and bigger 
bigger than the width of your uh, shoulders. So make it nice and wide. And you're going to see yourself as this beautiful funnel of energy. Still your chakras pouring in, blending in with the water that you're in or that you're visualizing that you're in. And then uh, you're opening up this 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 t funnel of of energy through your crown chakra. So these light codes from the stargate, from our star, the sun itself coming through. Um, and so hitting the atmosphere, hitting Gaia, hitting us, we're integrating from, from Gaia up and from um, the cosmos down as well. So just have that intention, just your energy opening up in this really fluid way and it's really open way. So fluid with your chakras, blending in with the water, blending in with the energy of Gaia. And then your third eye and your crown chakra going to another level and dimension higher uh, with uh, very intentionally activating your DMT, getting up into that crown, opening up that energy, just feel like you could just unhinge the top of your head and just let this energy pour in and pour out and just be open through that really big and extended crown chakra. Uh, Merlin just coming in again to remind us if you did that meditation, you have that wand you were given. So have the intention of having that um, with you, using that to help you uh, regulate and assimilate and trans um, transmute through the energies to release and to receive. And he is going to be sending in um, just like pulses of energy at the same time here. So he says we're gonna do 10. So just on account of 10, just opening up, just, just feeling and allowing for these 10 pulses of energies um, coming through as though he was standing right next to us and using his wand and just right above our head, just going one, boom, two, boom, three, boom, like that. We're going to do this 10 times. This is for 10 days of the Stargate. He's showing me that 10 of discs that we got in the the reading as well representing the 10 days of the stargate so on the count of three just nice and easy breathe through this and just receive this energy that's coming through symbolizing representing opening up your bodies for this energy representing the 10 days count of three one two and three, I'm gonna do one, boom, two, boom, and receive three, boom. Like he's just hitting just very gently the top of our heads, top of our crown chakras, just the top of where that funnel is. So just feel that energy. He's directly right next to us, has his wand, and just intentionally over us, four, boom, just receiving, five, boom, receiving, feeling that wave of energy go through your body, six, boom, feeling that energy going through your body down into the water, seven, boom, receiving, feeling it swirling through that funnel down, integrating with our chakras, integrating with our bodies, down into the water and eight, boom, down through into feel that going into every single nook and cranny of your body, extending outward, integrating with your chakras all the way down into the water and nine, boom, down into the body, feel it all the way down the spine, just straight down the spine 
opening up the channels, allowing for more energy to come through your back, through that wing area, that open area in your back on both sides of your shoulder blades. So just really allow for that energy to release through there if you haven't already. And last time here, number 10 coming, opening up, receiving this energy through the body. I release and I receive and boom, coming down through the body. If you feel it in your ears, just open up to say, I release and I receive. Head might feel really intense and, and um, full, just release, 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 breathe through it, down into the body, receive it all the way down, feel it going through that throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, and root chakra, down your arms, your fingers, your legs, down your feet, Take a few deep breaths and just sit here for a minute, he says. So we're going to be quiet here for a minute. And again, slowly making your awareness to that beautiful cage of those seven swords of Michael, his sword that he split into seven, put all around us. Let's tap back into that amazing energy, that loving energy, that grounding and protective energy. Know he is right there with us at our left side. Just tap into that. Just the circle of those seven energetic swords all the way around us, creating this beautiful energetic frame of protection, of love and light, so we can integrate as easily as possible. And then we're gonna slowly, very intentionally close up that crown chakra. So counting down from 10 down to one until it's back to normal size. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. back into alignment from top to bottom. And stay in this space as long as you're guided to, to just help you integrate. Remember, this is to help receive all these energies through the Stargate very intentionally every day. Just help your body to assimilate, to transmute, to understand, to see the synchronicities, to see the numbers, to see the and feel the messages and the guidance, to be inspired, to connect with Gaia, to integrate with those Akashic records, to send out your soul song frequency to your uh, soul family here incarnate so they may hear your frequency more clearly and connect with you 
whenever it is the exact right moment in whichever way that is meant to be. I want to thank you again for being here, thanking our guides and our guardians, yours, mine, and ours. Remember, when we heal one, we heal all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a beautiful Stargate every single moment of it. Stay open to receiving. I love you infinitely. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget, the key is to create. I love you already. And always live in love, dear beautiful soul. Bye for now.